sunshine. How are you all doing out there today? I'm Michelle the Introvert and today I've been as busy as a bee. As busy as a bee. Notice the earrings? They have bumblebees on them. <laughs> I've been busy with things, food from my garden. Yes, I am very thankful this year, very, very thankful that I've been able to get things in my garden and I'll tell you why. Here in Nova Scotia, this whole summer, it rained most of the summer and it was foggy a lot of the summer and it was sunny only a tiny little bit. <laughs> a sunny day here, a sunny day there, but mostly it was rain and gray and foggy outside. So needless to say, unfortunately, a lot of people's vegetable gardens this year did not turn out very good. And I feel very sad for those people who did all that work planting and just working with their vegetable gardens only to have it not work out because of all the rain. Now, fortunately, I'm one of the lucky few. I have been able to harvest some food but not as much as what I should have because I planted a lot out in my little garden and there hasn't been very many cucumbers, as many as there should be. I was actually hoping to make some relish, like hot dog relish out of a lot of the cucumbers, but because I've been only finding a few cu cucumbers here and a few cucumbers there, I really haven't had enough to make relish. So we've been having cucumber sandwiches and slices of cucumbers to go with our supper. And it's so refreshing and I just love cucumbers. So I'm happy with what I'm able to harvest. And there are a few other things like what you see here behind me. <laughs> I've been able to get a couple, maybe two or three or four zucchinis. And this is one of them. This is going to go into my food processor. Not today, but in a couple of days, I'm going to get this all washed up and shredded in my food processor and put it into my Ziploc freezer containers. Put it in the freezer. And this is one of the yellow squash that I picked actually this morning. Yes, I went out in the rain. <laughs> if I wanted to get anything this summer, I basically had to go out in the rain, but I don't care. A little bit of rain isn't gonna harm this farm girl. <laughs> so this is one of my cute little yellow squash. This is actually the second one that I picked today. So this is nice. It's nice to have a little yellow squash. We're going to actually have one for supper to go with our supper tonight. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I picked from the garden this early wet morning. And some of the things that I picked this morning is a turnip, my little science project. I wanted to see if I could grow turnips and yes, I succeeded. I actually was able to get a turnip, a little one, <laughs> just learning about how to grow turnips, but I was able to get one so far and I was able to get, let's see what else. Um, I was able to get, I have it written down. Okay. Yes. The yellow squash and also some green onions. I still have a lot of green onions out in the garden, but I brought some in just cause I want to start putting them slowly and slowly and into my freezer. So I was able to get a little bit of this done.
ago, I went out into the garden and I brought in all of the dill that grew. And it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to make me happy. <laughs> happy that some did grow, despite the, the rain. And also I was able to bring in all of the parsley that Josh and I grew together. And it was really nice that the parsley grew because Josh helped plant those seeds. So I was really glad that some of our herbs grew and parsley is one of them that did grow along with the dill too. Now I have it written down here so I don't forget anything. So I washed up the parsley and the dill very gently, very, very gently, of course, under just coolish, warmish water. And my goal was to put the parsley and the dill in our, de our um, dehumidifier. <laughs> de dehumidifier? It's a, no, it's not a dehumidifier. Oh, dehydrator. <laughs> I had to think of that word for a second. Oh my goodness. So I'm a newbie at the dehydrator. Yes, I bought a dehydrator last summer. And I've only used it maybe a couple times, so I'm still learning how to use the dehydrator. And I'm really happy with our dehydrator. I've been actually so pleasantly surprised on how quiet it is. It's just a really nice, quiet de... I keep wanting to say dehumidifier. Dehydrator! <laughs> it's a very nice, quiet dehydrator. Yes, and it doesn't take very much power which really surprised me when I first plugged it in and used it for the first time. I thought my idea was that the dehumid, the de, dehydrators, <laughs> I thought the dehydrators would just use a lot of power, so it was a little uncertain. But no, I was pleasantly surprised to see that they don't use very much power. And the dehydrator that I have is so, so quiet that sometimes I have to come and check on it just to make sure it's still running. <laughs> so yes, I was able to dehydrate the dill and the parsley and I used my little coffee grinder um, to grind up the dry parsley and the dill and put it in little containers. So I'm happy that I was able to do that. Something else that I grew in the garden, and it's something that I absolutely love, 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 and that is beets. I remember when I was growing up, mom used to make beet pickles, and she used to cook up beet greens. So I have very fond memories of beets. And some people don't like beets, but I'm one of them. I'm one of the few that like beets, and I love beet pickles, and I love beet greens. So I brought in a lot of the beet greens that we had in the garden, cooked them up, and yes, like most of everything that I have, I um, put them in freezer containers or freezer bags to put them in the freezer so I can use them a little bit later to go with some supper. Future suppers. <laughs> Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of bird.
something else that I brought in from the garden and that is some more yellow and green and purple beans. I love beans and I, I love Scarlet Runner beans. I just can't seem to grow enough of those and even though I was only able to get some this summer because of the weather, I was so happy that some of them grew. And even though some of the deer nibbled, nibbled and chomped on some of my beans when they broke into my garden a few weeks back, I was still able to salvage some so I'm very happy about that and I have them all done up and put in the freezer. <laughs> last thing that I would like to talk to you today about is my yellow squash. Now the squash that I did up today was about twice the size as this one. <laughs> yes this looks big on camera but it's actually small when you look at the scale of it. It's actually a smaller squash but I'm still thankful to have it. The other one that I did up was quite a bit bigger and I thought it would be nice to have that for supper tonight. So I gave the squash a good washing, got it all sliced up, and put it in my grandmother's casserole. I have a vintage casserole dish that was my grandmother's. And I lined it with tin foil and, and put the um, squash inside and put homemade butter in there, with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, wrapped it like blankets over the top of the squash, and put it all in my oven. And so... It's all done. Do you guys want to take a look? Forward to having that fresh squash for supper tonight. It's going to be really really nice going with our supper and with cucumbers fresh from the garden. And my friends it's always such a joy to share with you all what's going on and at this present moment my focus has been on the garden because fall is quickly approaching. So I'm trying to bring in and glean as much as I can before the colder weather starts coming in. My friends, thank you for joining me here today. I wanted to give you a little bit of an, up, an update. And if you like this vlog, please give me the YouTube a thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great. And I have more vlogs coming up. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you all soon. Talk to you soon, my friends. Bye. Bye.